So if you've never seen a star-nosed mole before, it can be quite shocking. Probably the most noticeable feature is that they have sort of like these fingers growing out of their nostrils, sort of like how a dog would sniff for prey on land. These do it at the bottom of swamps by blowing bubbles out of their nose and then sucking the bubbles back in really, really fast to pick up odors. The first problem is that the bubble would just float up. If you imagine having the nostrils at the center and then all these gaps all around it, if you blow the bubble, the bubble is going to try to rise up through all the gaps at the same time, and then the surface tension of the bubble keeps the bubble in one piece. That keeps it centered on the nostril so that the mole can then suck it back up again. So this behavior, if you're not looking for it, then you're, you're probably never going to see it, because right? it, it happens in like a tenth of a second. What we're hoping is that if we better understand how this mole does this, connect it to other characteristics with the American water shrew and the Russian desmond, then we can figure out sort of core characteristics that we can say, look at another mammal and be like, okay, you have what it takes to do underwater sniffing. Let's see if you can do it too. Because we, we suspect that it, this, this behavior might actually be much more common than, than we think.